Hello everyone and welcome to another part of Indie Games Festival, this time with Kerbal Space Program. For those of you who are not familiar with this game, uh, it's a... Uh, well, I guess a space program simulator in its early development. There haven't been much else than building rockets and trying to get as high as you can, um, preferably to the moon. <laughs> And it's basically, if you know Orbiter, it's a bit like it, but it's more fun and more arcade-like. So, yeah, let's build some fucking rockets. First of all, let me mention that I really suck at this game. I haven't played it a lot, but it's really fun, and I like to spend, like, 10 or 15 minutes in it every uh, free moment that I want to spend in a really short arcade-like game. So don't expect any huge professionalism of me. I'm just building rockets and shooting them up in space. So first of all, we have to design our rocket. So uh, you have to you have to start with a command module logically. And what's really fun in this game is that uh, you can do whatever you want. You can build it any way you want. You can do whatever you want. So uh, let me just show you some stuff. Mm. I usually start with uh, building like the last part of the command module. Oh god, it's too big. So we need a fuel tank for that. Huh. Something bigger? Okay, I guess this could work. Uh, it's a uh, 2 meter capacity one. Okay, I guess this could work. Let's try this out. No, too big. Too big. <laughs> we need a small, decent engine. Oh, it's, it's the one I used. How oh, this one? Uh, maximum first 300. I guess we could use... Oh, this one burns a lot. I'm not sure if this one is strong enough to lift the rocket, but hey, we can always try it. Okay, so now let's do a small test of it, if this uh, actually has any potential, because I haven't used this engine yet, I believe. Uh, second part is that you try to launch it and see what it does. So, yeah, perhaps making this uh, load really slowly. So let's give it some time. Okay, let's give it more time. Let's give it insane amount of time just to load the launch pad. Okay, did the game crash on me or what? Oh, it's still loading, I guess. Oh, let me just pause for apps and get back to you when we're at the engine place, the launch pad. Okay, we're here. Fail number one. Okay, it's not really doing anything, so let's try to launch it and see if it lifts off. Yeah, it does! Cool, so we have a lift off. We're up. So let's see how far this will get. So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna use this as a basic, basic thing. We're really going. F really going pretty high up. Sweet, we've 
almost reached the upper atmosphere. Okay, this one is good. So let's uh, end flight and get back to the assemble building. I think we need to do a bit more about this. We should probably uh, put up some yeah parachutes so we can get home. Okay, seems fine. And what's this? Escape tower. Oh god, it's an escape tower. Jesus. Huh, it's an... It's an upgrade for something which I never met. Okay, so now we have to do one more thing. I'm gonna put in a control module. Uh, I want this... Oh, let's just leave it this way. Okay, I'm gonna tweak this a bit and show you the result. Okay, I decided to do something I've never tried before. And that is to put four big rockets on one small rocket. I have no idea what this is gonna do, but let's give it a try, eh? Okay, we're here. And contrary to my belief, this seems pretty stable. So, let's have a lift off. Okay, the course is not really upward, and it's really loud. But I guess it can take us high up. I don't really like the fact that it's rotating so much, but it's going straight up, so that's good enough for me. Oh God! <laughs> flight with four rockets. <laughs> rotating so much. Just for a second. 
sec. Stabilize. Oh god, it's a fail. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I added some winglets, which I never tried before. And I added um, another decoupler up here so the module can decouple and fall on its own. So let's give this one a try. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Shall we? Yeah, it's just going all to hell. Oh God, no! I because it's turning. I have no idea which button will do. Oh fuck it! Let's just go straight to hell. We were falling. Falling down, everyone. Come on, come on, come on. I hope they had enough training for this. And now we're falling. 
and we're probably gonna land somewhere in the ocean. We we're falling! We're falling! Save yourselves! Oh god! Parachute open. Yeah, it did. So it seems our astronauts are safe. And we actually did have a pretty bad course, so the module oh, 12 meters per second, that's not gonna be so nice, but yeah, they survived. So yeah, that's a bit of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I just wanted to show it up a bit. Uh, not sure if you want more or not. Uh, as I checked, there's a huge lot of videos about this one. Um, but just a hunch for you what's going on on the indie scene and what I've been doing, um, playing and stuff. So it's really fun. There's a lot of options. You can build insane rockets. You can even build jet planes and they've been up updating this a lot. So yeah, uh, I hope you will try Kerbal Space Program.